This tutorial shows how to conduct the paired Wilcoxon signed rank test in SPSS and in the predict results. Its purpose is testing the medians for a paired or the same sample at two different points in time for differences. For instance, I let people do a four week long training and want to compare the median number of push ups they can do before and after the training or simply put a test score. Since the paired Wilcoxon test is a non parametric test, the only real requirement is a dependent variable on at least the ordinal scale as well as paired or dependent observations. Before starting the analysis itself, I want to scan the descriptive statistics to get a first impression of my data. Simply select both measurements and request descriptive statistics. For my example, both mean and median are increasing from T1 to T2. The standard deviation representing dispersion is shrinking a bit. To conduct the paired Wilcoxon test, navigate to Analyze, Non-parametric test, Related samples. Now you have some customization to do. Go to Fields to select your two test variables by moving them to Test Fields. For my example, score in T1 and T2 are the variables being tested for differences over time. Next, go to Settings and select Customize Tests and also check the box on Wilcoxon Matched Pair Assigned Rank to Samples. Under Test Options, you can specify a different significance level alpha and confidence intervals. Exclusion of cases is not applicable in this test scenario. After checking all necessary boxes and options, click on Run to generate the test results. The test result will be shown at the top, but let's start with the histogram of the differences. The blue bars show positive differences when you subtract T1 from T2, aka an improvement in the achieved score. Conversely, the red bars show negative differences, aka a worsening in the achieved score. Ties are not shown in this chart. Eventually, the number of blue bars dominate, hinting an overall improvement of the achieved score. Below, you can find additional histograms for both points in time. Let's go back to the first table showing the hypothesis summary. You can see that the null hypothesis of a difference between the two time points equaling zero is being rejected according to the paired Wilcoxon test. This can be seen in the p-value being smaller than 0.001, which is below the predefined significance level alpha of 0.05. Hence, you can assume a difference between the two time points. Please note that testing is always two-sided, which can be seen in the second table when looking at the significance. When you are testing one-sided, which of course has to be stated in advance, you can divide the p-value by two. So assuming I hypothesized an improvement over time and not only a difference, I would be able to test one-sided and use the half p-value. But of course only if the median was higher in T2 compared to T1. After a significant paired Wilcoxon test, an effect size should be calculated, which is shown in the following video.